Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy from 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the next comedy movie coming at you guys on the channel here today. And this one is a classic, man. This is one I have seen requested since I started this channel. And I just never got around to doing it, man. It's been on my list and I was going through it this morning and I took a look at the cast, the small peak, right? I looked at the first few. I saw Will Ferrell, obviously. We've been on a kick of his movies lately. I saw Seth Rogen, and then I know there's a few more in there. I didn't really take a look at them, but I know this has a stacked cast, so I figured this would be the perfect one to check out. I believe there was a second one that came out in like 2014, roughly, I wanna say. I don't know how well that one was received. I do hear a lot about this one, not so much about that one, but nonetheless, guys, I'm here for it. I'm excited for it, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this movie. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on the new channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below to you guys in the next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon, as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff in the movie. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this movie. Ah, let's see what we got, man. Another DreamWorks one. Again, I'm always a little surprised seeing DreamWorks at the start of movies like these. I don't know how how long it'll take me to uh, realize DreamWorks isn't just animated movies. <laughs> His name was Ron Burgundy. He was like a god walking amongst mere mortals. <laughs> In other words, Ron Burgundy was the bulbs. Ron Burgundy was, in fact, him. Ribs. How now, brown gal? How are you? Dude, he looks uh, like Will Ferrell. He looks so different. Don't wear a bra next time. No, I was talking to you. No, not her. Saw Steve Carell's name in this too, dude. Stacked ass cast. Scotch is got scotch. Here it goes down. Down into my belly. Mm -mm -mm. The arsonist has oddly shaped feet. <laughs> Gotta do his warm ups. <laughs> Fucking tongue twisters. Dude, I can only imagine what it's like being on set when you're filming something like that, right? Go time. Channel 4 News with five time. M it's the truth. Ron Burgundy. Yeah? Cham Kine Sports. Ooh. Rick Tamlin Weather. Steve. And your reporter in the field, Brian Fantana. Paul Rudd? News at 6 o'clock. Viciously attacked by a pack of wild dogs in an abandoned pool. Hey. Use a picture of a Doberman, it's probably a Chihuahua. Upper Northwest and 38 degrees in the Middle East. Yeah, it's uh, 41 degrees right now in Washington. An unusual aquatic daredevil. What you're about to see is a ch <laughs> You can see the football. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> that squirrel can water ski. <laughs> oh. That looks like something you would have seen in the prime of YouTube, dude. Early 2000s. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! Yeah. <laughs> Burgundy, of course, was the foundation. The rock. But each member brought their own special something to the equation. <laughs> Bry man. I'm the stylish one of the group. <laughs> You ladies play your cards right, you just might get to meet the whole gang. <laughs> Seems like the type of person to do that. Champ here. I'm all about having fun. You know, get a couple of cocktails in me, start a fire. Why did he emphasize that? Gene Tennis at the plate. <laughs> Everyone has their own little thing. Dude, this makes me want to watch the 40 year old virgin again seeing him. Like me because I am polite and I'm rarely late yeah. to eat ice cream and I really enjoy a nice pair of slacks. Yeah. A doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48 and I'm what some people call mentally retarded. <laughs> Dude, that's nothing special about him, huh? <laughs> Just shows up on time. Mm 
<laughs> the way the spotlight's on her and everything. <laughs> I want to be friends with it. It's one way to approach. Compliment a woman. Tell if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Oh, I am? No, I, I can't say that I do. I'm kind of a big deal. Really? To who? <laughs> well, I'm very happy for you. I'm Damn. My apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to say something. I want to put it out there. And if you like it, you can take it. If you don't, send it. <laughs> oh, no. I want to be on you. Yep. Wait. Uh huh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I Dude does not know how to actually interact with somebody who doesn't just throw themselves at him. <laughs> I feel like maybe she does know him, but she's just playing it off. I'm lonely? I'm not lonely. <laughs> you know how to cut to the core of me, Baxter. <laughs> You know I don't speak Spanish in English, yeah. please. Them spiritual conversations you be having with your dog. Bro, if you don't talk to your dog, you ain't living life right. <laughs> oh my God. Matching PJs and everything. <laughs> and speaking of network, word on the street is they're looking for a new anchor. So Ron, put mm. network, are they here? <laughs> An addition, a lot of you have been here. Oh shit, is this gonna be the girl? Diversity on the news team. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is all men, huh? What in the hell's diversity? Huh? <laughs> Veronica Corningstone. Entrance music and all. A man, not a girl lady, and that is a scientific fact. I don't know what we're yelling about. <laughs> it's terrible. She has beautiful eyes and her hair smells like cinnamon. <laughs> Loud noises. <laughs> I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. The bears can smell the menstruation. What? <laughs> Someone fact check that. Yeah. <laughs> You can use my office, and afterwards, maybe we can go to lunch. Yeah, <laughs> why are you yelling? And cut the tension with a knife. I mean, I want to hear the whole. He can still hear him. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Corny Stone's fair game. Huh? Let the games begin. Hey -oh. Hey -oh. Dude fell in love with her at first sight. Ron Burgundy. Mark. Is that Mark? No. <laughs> hey, where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? Uh, at least you tried. <laughs> you have a great day, fellas. We'll see you around the bend. Dude, they really do have a stacked ass cast, huh? Even the guy who can't think says something you guys just... <laughs> no backup. Have some chicken, maybe some sex. You know, see what happens. Oh, let me get this over here. <laughs> yep, well deserved. <laughs> Doing the no pants dance. <laughs> Time to musk up. Oh. Blackbeard's delight. Mm -hmm. She gets a special clump. It's called Black Box. Sex Panther by Odeon. <laughs> Dude, that's actually cool. Let's go see if we can make this little kitty purr. <laughs> the box and shit looks cool, but <laughs> it probably smells terrible. What is that? It smells like a turd covered in burnt hair. <laughs> Dude, how did Ron say it smelled like gasoline? That smells nothing alike. What? Oh. How do you even make that comparison? <laughs> Bro, to be fair, you guys you guys like to get smell of gasoline? Gasoline smells kind of good, Loki. <laughs> Party the pants with the pants. Party with pants. Brick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? <laughs> all right. Now. All right, I'm all right. <laughs> 
I'm telling you. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Mm. I just burned my tongue. The only way to bag a classy lady is to give her two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> and see if she likes the goods. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Mm, just doing my workout. Tuesday's arms and back. Well, you asked me to come by, sir. Oh, did I? Yes. <laughs> Dude only works his right arm. <laughs> now, I expected it from the rest of them, Mr. Burgundy, but not from you. Wait a minute! I <laughs> pick up a tempt. I'm, I'm offended. I have very little time to get... <laughs> oh, no. Right in front of everyone, uh. The office! Oh, stop calling your arms guns. If I could squire you about town as... Squire you? <laughs> but this is not a date. No, of course not. Strictly professional. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. Nine. <clears throat> Downstairs. Mr. Burgundy, you have a massive erection. <laughs> Nothing to look at. Uh, the awkward walk as well. Well, that's going to do it for all of us here at Channel 4 News. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy? <laughs> Dude literally read it as a question. <laughs> as many times as he's done that shit. It's not a date, Ron. No. Strictly professional. Doesn't mean we can't have fun. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm number one on the license plate too. Dude took her straight here. Wow. I'll be honest. I don't think anyone knows what it means anymore. Scholars maintain that the translation was lost hundreds of years. Oh my God. It, doesn't it mean Saint Diego? Mm hmm. No. Dude's literally just yapping. No, that's that's what it means. <laughs> really. Well, agree to disagree. <laughs> Dude, I just, bro, every time I see him like this, I do, it does not look like Will Ferrell. Wow. Quite a drink order. Oh, well, when in Rome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's just it. Would everyone love to hear Rome Burgundy play some jazz flute? Get it going, Rome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. You, get on stage now. Oh. <laughs> play a little ditty. Honestly, I'm, Come on. I'm not prepared. I really am not prepared at all. Yeah. <laughs> Dude whipped it out. Keeps that thing on him. <laughs> East Harlem Shakedown, E flat. You know, dude hit boy up, said, hey, talk me up. I'm not hearing it right. What? Hold on now. We got it now. It's all right. Okay, hold on. He kind of killed it. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's good, but it's not step on my food good. Oh my god! <laughs> She's into him! <laughs> Saw the lip bite. That was actually good! Thank you! <sighs> Fun fact, I played clarinet in the fifth grade. Or in the sixth grade. For like a year. <laughs> Only because they ran out of saxophones. You continue to surprise me, Mr. Burgundy. <sighs> to think from the first, from the start of the movie, the pickup line he used to this. <laughs> Dude was able to recover. Oh, I'm storming your castle on my steed, my lady. Oh. oh my God, the dialogue. <laughs> Wait, stop. 
Stop talking oh. like that. I can't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no. Take me to Pleasure Town. Oh, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure Town animated no, and all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Freaking love you. I freaking love you, man. <laughs> we should keep it relatively quiet around the station. Absolutely. My wild love tigress. Mm. Uh, you know it's gonna come out. <laughs> Tasteful discretion is the name of the game. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way they're gonna keep it a secret. Veronica calling sound and I had sex and now. Yep. In love! Yep. Yep. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but. <laughs> oh, the fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some great stuff. Seth! Shut up. A young Seth. And that, of course, was our newest reporter, Veronica Corningstone. She's really great. I'd also like to share with you that we are currently dating and that she is quite a handful in the bedroom. <sighs> Dude just has to add that on. I report the news. That's what I do. And today's top story in Ron Burgundy's world. <laughs> this. I love Veronica Corningstone. Oh, no. Too soon. Ron. She didn't say it back. Too soon. Known each other like a week. And then our children will form a family band. And we will tour the countryside, and you won't be invited. <laughs> Dude's in the honeymoon phase. I'm telling you, this lady has really crawled into Ron's head. <laughs> Good one. The meme, that's where that's from. <laughs> but soon, with a simple act of littering, everyone's life would change forever. Oh, no. Oh, Baxter, you are my little gentleman. Oh, no. Foggy London town, because you are what, my little gentleman? This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Oh! Yeah. Oh, Anthony, clear Batman. Dude, how do you not see him? Is that Jack Black? And a glass of scotch. And of course, my friend Baxter here. Well, oh no. Happening. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? That's how I. What the fuck? Baxter. Huh? No! Bro, what? That is fucked. Dude, I'm diving off that edge. He's gonna put corning stone on. He's gonna put corning stone on. Yeah. He said that's all you had to say. Dude looked like Hopper from Stranger Things when he was running right there. Oh god. <laughs> you're not Ron. Yeah. You don't say. And you're gone. Whammy. And <laughs> His catchphrase. Look at all them cigarettes, dude. Oh my gosh. Made off with over twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Assholes. Assholes, dude. <laughs> and the winner of the frog leaping contest was Hoppy with a jump of seven feet. <laughs> and thanks for stopping by, San Diego. They're gonna end up liking it, man. Felt good. That felt really good. I liked your little sign off line, too, Missy. Dude, you did. It just came through me. It was so. <laughs> so one Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe you did this to me. You read my news. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be an anchor. I told you that. I thought you were kidding! <laughs> From there on out, things just got worse for Ron Burgundy. Courting Stone was a star, and everything started to move awfully fast. Ugh, dude got pushed back into the shadows, huh? 
And the decision has been passed down to make Veronica our co-anchor. What? Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Uh, no! No! no. <laughs> Second hot dog eating contest. <laughs> you have man boobs. <laughs> Fresh mouth. That's what you have. Think about people that can read lips. They're like, are they saying what I think they're saying? I'm gonna punch you in the ovary. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> a straight shot. Ooh, ow. Right to the baby maker. <laughs> yeah. That's uncalled for. I can't work with this one. Peter Pan. Damn. They're just being petty now, man. Being petty as fuck. Where the hell's the suit store? We've been walking for 45. What is this? I thought you said this was a shortcut. Fantastic. Well, you listen to Brick. Okay. Jeez. You know what? It's y'all's own fault for doing that. Oh no. Uh -oh. They're on our turf! Why are they all on bikes? You're different from everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> is it Heine? Why is he over there? <laughs> I've had enough of you, man tooth. This is gonna end right here, right now. Let's dance, dickweed. You want I want a polka. <laughs> Why does he have a chain? Why does he have what is that, a bed pulse? Why does he have a grenade? Come get a taste. Dude, this is gonna be the wildest showdown. What? <laughs> Where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. <laughs> huh? Alright. Let's do this. Hey. Oh god. Lead ankle Frank Richard. <laughs> dirt bags have been in third place for five years. Dude has double brass knuckles. Be in dead place. Oh my god, everyone showing up. No commercials? No mercy! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, where did this guy come from? Oh shit! Who's <laughs> is here? Tonight's top story. The sewers run red with Burgundy's blood. <laughs> he has a whip. Fucking insane. No touching of the hair or face. <laughs> of course. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> He's just holding the grenade. <laughs> What? Where did the horses come from? Oh my gosh. Oh shit. <laughs> Scatter. Oh my gosh, dude. Medieval ass showdown. Boy. That escalated quickly. <laughs> Got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. I Lucky he didn't pull the pin on the grenade. Sir, you are a smelly pirate hooker. What? <laughs> Harry. Why what? don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? <laughs> Have bad hair. What did you say? Said that one hurt. Said. Your hair looks stupid. <laughs> oh shit. Let him work it out. It's between Let him work it out. <laughs> Damn! Shit bounced off his head. Oh no. Oh my god. God! Stop! Stop what you're doing right now! Dude pepper sprayed himself. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. 
Damn. That's what she put. What in the name? No! Nobody talks about my city that way! Ah, damn. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Why is she acting surprised? Really a lot of hustle. I liked it. She probably like, damn, it actually worked. I got to fire you. Ooh. Garth, if I were to give you some money out of my wallet, would that ease the pain? <gasps> I hate you, Ron Burgundy. I hate you. <laughs> damn. She turned him into a heel. <laughs> Why are the police bringing him out? Oh, I guess to protect him. Yeah, they gotta protect him. No! I mean, what'd you expect? That was literally your plan. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, lady in the red hat. Yeah. Don't even recognize him no more. Has been waiting for. I can only speculate. Ah, he lost his arm, that's right. We're here today to celebrate the birth of a panda. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon, did I? Dude is down bad. You know, that is so refreshing to me because the struggle that yep. <laughs> saw that coming. Oh, wait, oh. got the shot. There, <laughs> yeah. bro, there's savages in the news world. Get me a phone. I can't oh. believe I'm about to do this. I'm gonna call Ron, dude. Ron is looking rough, though. <laughs> right. Get down here as quick. <laughs> and I'll be down there. And I'm going to look good. Uh, oh no, dude. Hold on now. Let me find out. He stay ready. Ron Burgundy. Damn. Mm -hmm. That dude cleans so good. <laughs> assemble! Avengers assemble shit. <laughs> oh, fuck his dog. <laughs> News team. He heard the call. Veronica. Help. Are you okay? <laughs> Down there. Oh my god. <laughs> we go into the bear pit. No, Why are you gonna Oh my god. <sighs> he said now we're both trapped. News team? Oh no. Let's hunt. News team. Oh shit. Bear bite. <laughs> so one for each of them. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro, one swipe and that motherfucker dead. The bears have descended on the news team and it's not going well. Clearly after today, I will not Oh my god, took his other arm. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh shit, his dog. <laughs> oh my god. So what's up? thought the unsung hero man the unexpected hero at that dude can you imagine how freaking crazy it would be to be a bear or a gorilla oh dude why are you sticky oh come on that dude's been traveling across the fucking country probably <laughs> Ain't no way he was gonna do that in front of everyone. <laughs> From my co-anchor, Miss Veronica Coinstone. Yeah, <laughs> break. Did start a report in the weather. 
Or on Burgundy. Yes! Rod! <laughs> I chose them as my yeah. replacement, and they became the first mixed gender network news team. <laughs> From all of us here at the World News Center, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, planet Earth. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Literally such a stacked cast. Insane, man. <gasps> Bloopers! <You're> a Thor! <gasps> More movies need to do this. Sweet grandmother's spatula. Hot pot of coffee. <laughs> Uncle Jonathan's corncob pipe. <laughs> you think he was just spitting random shit? Was that actually in the script? Say now, can you? Yes, I can. I can think of a lot of things to say. Like, you're a dirty bitch. <laughs> well, Ron, I'm gonna put poison. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, are they just going back and forth? You think they just let the actors go at it? <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> Dude, they got to do that at the end of movies more, man, especially comedies. I love when they put bloopers in. They did it at, at the end of the Rush Hour movies, and I loved it. They've done it with a few movies, obviously, but, like, I feel like more movies need to do that. Sometimes that's my favorite part of the shit is just seeing the crazy-ass bloopers and stuff. Oh, my God, man. All right, guys. Anchorman, the legend of Ron, Ron Burgundy from 2004 is in the books. What a fucking movie, man stacked ass cast man like i love when movies just go all out on the cast now obviously there's some like i like when people just have some quick cameos sometimes you know we had a couple of actors appear in this just for like one or two scenes like the fight scene right which was fucking hilarious we had seth rogan in the back a little bit of young seth rogan at that right this was like 2004 so dude was still super young back then but regardless overall fucking fantastic movie i will say like will ferrell like I think this is the one movie i'm trying to think of others I, and more recently i just watched a few of his but i'm trying to think of others like i really couldn't you couldn't really fully tell it was him there were some shots you definitely could tell but for the most part they did a really good job with his makeup and shit like he looked completely different than himself most of the time when i see him acting and stuff like you can obviously clearly very 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 clearly tell it's him on this they did a good job with kind of switching that up and changing it man regardless fantastic fucking movie again i know there's a second one we may be checking that out not 100 percent sure but guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff in the moon if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel i want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on patreon man shout out to the homie that's so gordo the homie alexander collins and the homie christopher larimer your guys' support is much appreciated if you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.